Last time we already derived the surface charge density on the sphere. Now we want to calculate the force between the original charge and the image charge or the charges on the sphere. So that force uh, between the, the charge and, and the image charge is quite straightforward. So it's just the Coulomb force. So F uh, is uh, because they are all on the lines uh, in the univector n pi, so the force must be in the direction of n pi, and then it's pointing. So for the force acting on the sphere to by the charge Q, so it's pointing, because the attractive forces must be pointing to the n pi direction. And keeping in mind that Q and Q pi are of negative sign, so you have minus Q, Q pi, divided by four pi epsilon zero, divided by the distance square. Distance square would be Y minus Y pi square. Okay, and now Q pi, and this is in the N pi direction. And Q pi is uh, Q times A over Y. So this is minus Q square in pi, four pi epsilon zero, so you have A. No, Q pi is uh, A over Y, not Y over A. So, so you have A over Y. Q is a, Q, Q pi is minus A over Y times Q. So, and then Y is, Y pi is uh, A square over Y is pi A square over Y and then square. Okay, so that would be uh, the force and you can, uh, if you want, you can simplify it a, a little bit. Uh, I guess that should be the correct answer. Uh, that's a that's a plus sign. You can so you can this is plus. Okay, and. Uh, Square, square. Right, yeah, this is correct. Yeah. And another way to calculate that uh, is to in integrate uh, the force on the conductor using the, the stress. Uh, so sigma square over two epsilon zero. So that one, and then uh, only taking the component uh, along the n pine direction. So another way you check whether the F is uh, equals this one. So you integrate sigma square, so integrate surface integral sigma square over two a, uh, two, uh, two epsilon zero. And uh, and do the surface uh, surface integral, and this force is pointing to the n direction. But what you want to take the uh, take the uh, n pi direction, so we just end up to getting just the magnitude of the force. So n dot into n pi, we have cosine gamma. And then dA. Okay. Now you substitute everything here. So, so substitute this, this uh, sigma and take the square term. So we get up uh, AQ square. And all this doesn't depend on gamma. So get out, so y square of a square. And then divided by 
uh, square of this, you have four pi, 16 pi square, you have divided by two epsilon zero, six to 32, 32 pi square. Right, and then uh, epsilon zero. And you have a square, uh, square, so a four power. Oh, this is square, so one minus y square of a square, square, because uh, you're taking sigma square. Okay, so now you do the uh, surface integral, just like what we did last time, so change the variable, so change variable a that equals to sine gamma, so, so d, a cosine gamma, not sine gamma. cosine gamma. So d eta would be negative sine gamma, d gamma, and then you can change the negative sign into the, the uh, flip the limit. So, so what is left is, uh, so there's a cosine gamma, and the, uh, as a move for integration, we give you two pi, so get the two pi, and the surface will give you a square. Okay, so you have all that, and then you integrate minus one to one. What is left is a to a, and then the rest of the factor is one plus y square over a square minus two y over a, a and square of that become cubic factor. Okay, so I uh, guess that, uh, that's what we have here. And now uh, the factor in front can be simplified a little bit, so Let's simplify a little bit. So you have q square, one minus y of y square of a square, square that, and divided by. So you have two pi cancel with thirty two pi squares. Get you sixty pi epsilon zero. Cancel two of the a square, give you a square. Okay. And now this integration, minus one to one, eight and two, two uh, eight uh, divided by uh, this factor. And I mean, of course you can look up a table or something like that uh, to, or, do it a symbolic uh, calculation, but uh, this is simple enough, so you can do it uh, by hand, try to do it by hand. And the first thing you do is to, to write it like, uh, so at first it's, it's an A to right? but uh, we want to, basically do the, uh, construct the same factor so that we cancel one of the factor. So what you want to change is to minus two, minus two a y of a eta. So you need to divide it by minus two y of a, multiply by this, divided by this factor. And to get to the same factor, you need to plus one plus y square of a square, and the minus the same factor, minus one minus y square of a square, and all that d8. Okay, so uh, that would be the uh, integration. 
I mean, if it would be the same as this one. And now you can do the perform the integration. So copy everything here. Okay, and uh, we have this uh, minus two y of a coming out. And this integration, the first term is uh, this cancel one of the factor, we give you, uh, this is minus three factors, so the fact, first factor will be, we have a minus two factor, so you need to divide it by minus two, and then divide it by this, the factor in front, so you divide it by minus two y of a, again, so you have square of this, okay? And the first factor is, uh, this factor plus y square of a square minus two y of a eight square and divided by minus two. Okay, so that will give you the first term. Okay, the first, the second one is minus uh, one plus y square of a square and this is cubic factor. No, I, 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 this is the cube. I, I integrate this one. First. So this one cancel with this is minus two. We integrate it. This gives you minus one. Just sorry. This is minus one. The minus two is in here. So minus two. Okay. And one of the one plus y square of a square minus two y of a y uh, a to square. Okay, and this is evaluate at uh, minus one to one. A to is minus one to one. Okay, so so there's uh, there's uh, lots of uh, there's a uh, lots of. Uh, cancellation here, so let me work that out. So the evaluate uh, eight is one. So let's just uh, write everything in front. Your a square. This is two y of a square. Okay. So both have a negative sign. So basically, we evaluate the plus sign, a negative sign first, and flip the sign. So when you have negative one, this is uh, this the whole thing is one plus y of a square, and then you square it again. Uh, this is just one, I forgot. Okay, so that one is, <clears throat> the first term is one over one plus y over a, and evaluate a to equals one will give you uh, one minus y over a square, and they take the square root and Oh. oh, there's no square, what does this, this is a square. One plus i over a square. This is minus uh, one minus y over a square. Okay. And 
then uh, this one the same, so minus uh, one half, one plus y square over a square divided by two. So uh, same thing. So you have a uh, one over one plus y over a square. Uh, square to square, so it's fourth power minus one minus y over a square. So if square is four power. Okay, so uh, that uh, is a lot of terms. So. What you want to do is to do a common denominator. We we'll do the common denominator. This times this would be one minus a square divided by y square divided by a square. So basically, and then square. So cancel cancel with this one. This actually have a four power. So cancel two of them. Okay. So basically, you can get which of this power. Okay. Q square. Over uh, sixteen pi epsilon zero. Now this two y square of a square cancel of this a square, so you always get this two y square. Okay, and the first one, when you uh, cancel do a common denominator, so basically this one minus that one. And when you do that, uh, this one minus that one, you have minus four. Uh, yeah, minus four times y over a. Right. And then the other one is uh, minus one half of one plus y square of a square. And when you do a common denominator of this one, so you cancel the two of them. So what is left is one minus y square over a square square. Okay. And now you cancel this one, cancel this one. The numerator is this one minus that one. So, uh, this one minus that one would be we have the, the first term is. Uh, you have two of this times uh, well, you can do it the other way. So this is uh, this one minus that one. So we so. The square of this plus the square of that. So, uh, let me see which, which which one is easier. Uh, so you square when you take a four power is one four six four one. So you cancel with the other two, so it's, it's basically minus four y of a. Right. And then minus four y cube over a cube. Okay, this is uh, this one minus that one in the numerator. 
โอเคโอเคสุดโอ้ let's see if we can keep simplify that so it goes to Q square over let's see what we have uh, yeah so you have a uh, four multiply by it. Four times sixteen is sixty-four pi epsilon zero y square. And take the one minus y square of a square out. Square of that out. Okay, and then so basically this factor multiplied by y of a, and you can't. Uh, uh, Can simplify that uh, by taking the expansion out, and by the way, you can that both all have a four power of uh, a factor of four, so you can take the four out. So y over a times the square of that, so it's y over minus y over a plus two. Y cube over a cube, and then minus y fifth over a fifth. Okay, and then so you have two cancel with two. And so basically, this one plus y over a, y square of a squared times this one. So uh, this one is also you take the minus four out. Take the four out. A minus cancel with minus. So it's become plus. And this is a. Uh, Y over a cancel out is one plus y square over a square. Basically, the square of that. Okay, so basically plus the square of that. So you plus y over a and plus two y cube over a cube plus y fifth over a fifth. Okay, so basically cancel. Cancel this with that. Cancel this with that. Cancel this with that. There's lots of cancellation. So all together, only these two left. So we have two plus two is four. So four times four is sixteen. So you cancel with that. We get four pi epsilon zero equals to q square of four pi epsilon zero. And what you left, what is left? You have y cube over a cube. Okay, y cube. You cancel with that one of them. So cancel with y square in the denominator. Get y and divided by a cube. And one minus y square over a square. Square. Okay, so let's compare with what we had before. What we had before is uh, this one. Why? Uh, this one a q square over four pi epsilon. So you have a over y. You would divide a over y inside. So you multiply y over a. So you have y square over a square. Uh, let's see what what we have. Uh, let's let's uh, let's do it this way. So you have q square. Let's get uh, everything inside first. Four pi epsilon zero. Okay, 
So if you multiply the whole thing inside, Let's uh, see. Uh, you want to change this to this, this one. Uh, you put everything inside, or you you could you get back to a over y instead of y over a. So you have a over y instead. So make it a over y. Just to compare with all this. So that becomes y squared over a. So a fourth over y squared. Times one minus y squared over a squared squared. Okay, so compare with this, this is a over y. Okay, and then uh, everything is square, so we multiply this inside. So mq square of a four pi epsilon c of y. Multiply this inside. You got a square over y minus. So a square over y times y square of a square. You get just y. And square a square over y minus y square a square over y minus y square so basically it's the same just because it's square it's the same so you get back to the same answer same as before okay so so that's a kind of a long integration by hand at least uh, you get back to the same Coulomb force between the charge and the image charge. So that's the integration in Jackson uh, section 2.2. So we stop here.